Ischemic Heart Disease Ischemic heart disease is characterized by reduced blood supply to the heart muscle due to narrowing or blockage of the coronary arteries. This can lead to chest pain, heart attacks, and other complications. It is primarily caused by atherosclerosis, a buildup of fatty deposits on the artery walls. Stroke a stroke occurs when the blood supply to part of the brain is interrupted or reduced, depriving brain tissue of oxygen and nutrients. This can be due to a blockage or a burst blood vessel. Immediate medical attention is crucial to minimize brain damage. COPD COPD is a chronic inflammatory lung disease that causes obstructed airflow from the lungs. It includes conditions such as emphysema and chronic bronchitis. Symptoms include breathing difficulty, cough, mucus production, and wheezing. The primary cause is long-term exposure to irritants, especially cigarette smoke. Lower respiratory infections. Lower respiratory infections affect the airways and lungs, including pneumonia, bronchitis, and bronchiolitis. These infections can be caused by bacteria, viruses, or fungi. Symptoms typically include coughing, fever, shortness of breath, and chest pain. Neonatal disorders. Neonatal disorders refer to conditions that affect newborns in the first 28 days of life. These include preterm birth complications, birth asphyxia, infections, and congenital anomalies. These conditions are leading causes of neonatal mortality and morbidity, trachea, bronchus, and lung cancers. Cancers of the trachea, bronchus, and lungs are among the most common and deadly types of cancer. The primary risk factor is tobacco smoke, although other factors like air pollution, occupational exposures, and genetic predisposition also play roles. Symptoms include persistent cough, chest pain, and difficulty breathing. Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is a progressive neurological disorder that causes brain cells to degenerate and die leading to a continuous decline in memory, thinking, behavior, and social skills. It is the most common cause of dementia in older adults. Diabetes. Mellitus. Diabetes. Mellitus is a group of diseases that result in high blood sugar levels. The most common types are type 1 diabetes, an autoimmune condition where the body attacks insulin-producing cells, and type 2 diabetes where the body becomes resistant to insulin. Symptoms include increased thirst, frequent urination, and unexplained weight loss. Chronic kidney disease. Chronic kidney disease is the gradual loss of kidney function over time. The kidney's ability to filter waste and excess fluids from the blood diminishes, leading to waste buildup. Risk factors include diabetes, high blood pressure, and other chronic conditions. Symptoms may not appear until kidney function is significantly impaired. Liver cirrhosis. Liver cirrhosis is a late stage of scarring of the liver caused by many forms of liver diseases and conditions such as hepatitis and chronic alcoholism. As cirrhosis progresses, more scar tissue forms, making it difficult for the liver to function. Symptoms include fatigue, easy bruising, jaundice, and swelling in the legs and abdomen. Tuberculosis. Tuberculosis is an infectious disease usually caused by Mycobacterium tuberculosis bacteria. TB mainly affects the lungs, but it can also affect other parts of the body. It spreads through the air when a person with active TB coughs or sneezes. Symptoms include a persistent cough, chest pain, and coughing up blood. Diarrheal diseases. Diarrheal diseases are typically caused by infections, bacterial, viral, or parasitic, and result in loose, watery stools. They can lead to severe dehydration, especially in children and infants. Common causes include contaminated food or water, poor sanitation, and malnutrition. HIV AIDS. HIV attacks the body's immune system, specifically the CD4 cells, which help the immune system fight off infections. Without treatment, HIV can lead to AIDS, where the immune system is severely damaged. HIV is transmitted through bodily fluids. Symptoms of HIV include flu-like illness, while AIDS symptoms are more severe and include opportunistic infections. Malaria. Malaria is a life-threatening disease caused by plasmodium parasites, which are transmitted to people through the bites of infected female Anopheles mosquitoes. Symptoms include fever, chills, and flu-like illness. Without prompt treatment, malaria can cause severe illness and death. 
Hypertensive heart disease. Hypertensive heart disease refers to heart conditions caused by high blood pressure. Chronic hypertension can lead to various complications, including heart failure, coronary artery disease, and thickening of the heart muscle. Stomach cancer. Stomach cancer, also known as gastric cancer, is the growth of cancerous cells in the lining of the stomach. It is often diagnosed at an advanced stage because early stage stomach cancer typically doesn't cause symptoms. Risk factors include infection with Helicobacter pylori bacteria, smoking, and a family history of stomach cancer. Liver cancer. Liver cancer refers to the uncontrolled growth of cells in the liver. Most liver cancers are hepatocellular carcinomas, which start in the main type of liver cell. Chronic infection with hepatitis, B or C, cirrhosis, heavy alcohol use, and certain genetic conditions increase the risk of liver cancer. Colorectal cancer. Colorectal cancer is cancer that starts in the colon or rectum. It often begins as a growth called a polyp, which can be detected and removed during screening tests. Risk factors include older age, a family history of colorectal cancer, inflammatory bowel disease, and a diet high in red and processed meats. Esophageal cancer. Esophageal cancer occurs when cancerous cells develop in the esophagus, the tube that carries food from the throat to the stomach. It is often diagnosed at an advanced stage, making it difficult to treat. Risk factors include smoking, heavy alcohol use, obesity, and acid reflux. Pancreatic cancer. Pancreatic cancer begins in the tissues of the pancreas, an organ located behind the stomach. It is often diagnosed at a late stage, leading to poor prognosis. Risk factors include smoking, obesity, chronic pancreatitis, diabetes, and family history. Breast cancer. Breast cancer is cancer that forms in the cells of the breast. It is the most common cancer in women worldwide. Risk factors include female gender, older age, family history, certain genetic mutations, and hormonal factors. Prostate cancer. Prostate cancer occurs in the prostate, a small gland in men that produces seminal fluid. It is the second most common cancer in men. Risk factors include older age, African-American race, family history, and obesity. Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease is a progressive nervous system disorder that affects movement. Symptoms include tremors, stiffness, slowness of movement, and impaired balance. The exact cause is unknown, but it involves a combination of genetic and environmental factors. Meningitis. Meningitis is inflammation of the protective membranes covering the brain and spinal cord. It can be caused by bacteria, viruses, fungi, or parasites. Symptoms include fever, headache, stiff neck, and sensitivity to light. Hepatitis. Hepatitis refers to inflammation of the liver. It can be caused by viruses, hepatitis, A, B, C, D, and E, alcohol, drugs, toxins, and autoimmune diseases. Symptoms include fatigue, jaundice, abdominal pain, and nausea. Sepsis. Sepsis is a life-threatening condition that occurs when the body's response to infection causes inflammation throughout the body. It can lead to organ failure and death if not treated promptly. Symptoms include fever, rapid heart rate, rapid breathing, and confusion. Influenza. Influenza, commonly known as the flu, is a contagious respiratory illness caused by influenza viruses. Symptoms include fever, cough, sore throat, body aches, and fatigue. In severe cases, influenza can lead to pneumonia and death. Acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Acute lymphoblastic leukemia is a cancer of the blood and bone marrow. It affects white blood cells called lymphocytes. Symptoms include fatigue, easy bruising or bleeding, bone pain, and frequent infections. Lymphomas. Lymphomas are cancers that start in the lymphatic system, part of the body's immune system. The two main types are Hodgkin lymphoma and non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Symptoms include swollen lymph nodes, fever, night sweats, and weight loss. Thyroid cancer. Thyroid cancer begins in the thyroid gland, which produces hormones that regulate metabolism. Most cases of thyroid cancer can be cured with treatment. Risk factors include exposure to radiation and certain genetic syndromes. Leukemia. Leukemia is cancer of the blood and bone marrow, affecting white blood cells. It is classified into four main types, 
acute myeloid leukemia, chronic myeloid leukemia, acute lymphoblastic leukemia, and chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Symptoms include fatigue, frequent infections, and easy bruising or bleeding. COVID-19. COVID-19 is an infectious disease caused by the coronavirus SARS-CoV-2. It primarily spreads through respiratory droplets when an infected person coughs, sneezes, or talks. Symptoms range from mild fever, cough, fatigue, to severe difficulty breathing, pneumonia, or organ failure. Zika virus. Zika virus is a mosquito-borne virus that primarily spreads through the bite of infected Aedes mosquitoes. In pregnant women, Zika virus infection can cause birth defects, including microcephaly in newborns. Ebola virus disease. Ebola virus disease is a severe, often fatal illness caused by the Ebola virus. It spreads through direct contact with the blood or body fluids of infected people or animals. Symptoms include fever, severe headache, muscle pain, weakness, diarrhea, vomiting, and internal bleeding. Plague. Plague is a serious bacterial infection caused by the Yersinia pestis bacterium. It primarily affects rodents and is spread to humans through flea bites or contact with infected animals. There are three forms of plague, bubonic, septicemic, and pneumonic. Without prompt treatment, plague can be deadly. Dive into the grim history and harrowing details of humanity's most lethal diseases in this concise yet comprehensive. From ancient plagues to modern pandemics, we explore the causes, symptoms, and impacts of each deadly disease. Learn about the Black Death, smallpox, Ebola, COVID-19, and more, as we unravel the science behind their spread and the efforts to combat them. Perfect for anyone curious about medical history or seeking to understand the threats that have shaped human society. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to get more insightful content. Until next time.